Not much. You awesome. coming to play with us? Yeah, I am. What are you bringing me to play? I am bringing, bringing you to play. Well, I just kicked his butt <laughs> and his butt. <laughs> Why are you sitting over there? Because he's very nervous that I may accidentally. Uh, this here is Pwns, a game of strategic mayhem. It's uh, what I call a strategy game that you'll never play the same way twice. Okay. Because there's a lot of variable elements that you're not only set up with, but that change throughout the game each time. Right. So, uh, this here is a demo version that I brought over. Okay. Uh, I do have the full version, but that takes like 45 to 60 minutes to play. So, we prepped this up so you could learn it and play it in like 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. So, let's get started if, we, if we're up for that. <laughs> Always. Yeah. Josh is just being salty. It's almost like he's human. What happened? Did he lose? Or? He Josh, lost? Yeah, he probably lost. He lost. I was, I was over you here. Their and I'm gloating. I'm gloating, yeah. I don't she had like three rounds. Oh, Batman, Batman level letter. She had like three rounds of freaking Joker and she banged me. <laughs> Sometimes you just, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. You know, no one likes gloats. I know, but I'm having so much fun with it. Did you see me make it rain with the Batman I, I did. Uh, I just love playing that and like uh, playing that with my brother and my uh, my father and both of us would just guess with a Batman just off the off the top of our heads like and my dad would lose every single time. <laughs> we were just like, I don't know how this random? keeps on happening. Yeah, it was a random guess. We're like, hey, this sounds right, and he's like, God dang. <laughs> and I'm like, that's fantastic. Oh, I gotta play Twitch. That's Twitch. That's the, oh my God, that's, that's hilarious. Player. Twitch. I, I well, don't know what the other one is. Each of you guys gets two characters yeah, get to characters. play. All right, so. Uh, the object here is to eliminate just one other team, and the game ends. Whichever team has the most characters with the most health points wins. Okay. Uh, in the main game, we got teams of four. four Can I pause four. you for a second? Yes. Did you want to introduce yourself? I'm so sorry, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Never done this one before. Cool, All right, cool. cool. I'm Anne. Uh, I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you, Ryan. Yeah. All right. Have you met these two losers? I have. I've met you. Yeah. You I'm know. sorry. Matt. 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 And Josh. Josh, great to meet you. That's yeah. Nicole. That's our TP. That's our Twitch proxy. She's our twice and forgot her name <laughs> once. <laughs> Just TP. Oh. We call her TP on the stream. TP? So Why is that? Twitch proxy. So oh. we try to keep it interactive with Twitch as a, a character usually, you know, when mm -hmm. we're doing our normal sessions. Of course. And so she is the hands of Twitch. So Twitch communicates together and collaborates to control a player. And she. So I think Twitch plays Pokemon, and she's the poor soul that has to deal with all the commands. Yeah. Oh, I love it. It sounds <laughs> awesome. So did you? You are the developer, designer, uh, and artist. Yes. An uh, artist, very cool. Yeah. <laughs> so what inspired you to make the game? Um, so like ten years ago, when I was like uh, thirteen, I mean, all my life I've wanted to make silly games and all that, and uh, I'd entertain my, uh, my siblings with these things. Uh, but back then, of course, they were awful. Uh, I did have the idea for this, but it has since changed 98%. I dug it up uh, in January of last year, and here we are now. Oh, very cool. Yep. What have you enjoyed the most about, is this your first game that you've brought to production? Yes. What have you enjoyed the most about the process? What have you not enjoyed? About um, I've really, I mean, I've enjoyed a lot about this journey. Uh, the biggest one is actually bringing a product to life that people are actually enjoying. Like, uh, throughout this convention, I've had several people come up and ask me for a copy to, like, play with their friends and all that. And I was like, yeah, sure, here, take my extra, that's fine. Uh, so I've really enjoyed that. It, it really does. I mean, as a creator, that's like the most you can really ask for. You kind of see your baby. Exactly. Your baby, yeah. Exactly right. So what is what has been the most um, difficult? What have you or what have you really learned during the process? Um, the flip side of the coin. <laughs> and that's that's perfect. Um, so like, <coughs> I I didn't actually realize, and I should have like uh, sought a more cost effective way of creating a prototype. My first prototype made it in under ten bucks, easy. Uh, then the second round, and third and fourth and fifth, I would actually have some cards printed, which I thought, yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. You know, a year and a half's worth of cards <laughs> later, this has been quite an expensive journey that I do a little bit differently next time. It adds up. Yeah. Exactly right. Do you have any advice for people who are interested in making their own game? Any? Um, definitely listen to, to your friends and family. They aren't, I mean, while they might lie to you to make you feel better, uh, they will give you some solid ideas after you after you built your confidence up a little bit. I would de I would then definitely introduce it to a newer, fresher market. It took me a year since inception to bring it to some strangers' eyes back at Prototype Con in like February or so. Uh, that was absolutely nerve wracking, but definitely worth doing. So. Good feedback there. Absolutely.
Oh, fantastic. Are you yeah. going to give us a brief rundown of like, uh, yeah. how to play, and then you, we pick it up better when we start playing. Absolutely. So. All right, so the general idea of this game is you've got uh, a couple of different terrains here. The only ones you can actually walk on in this would be grass, dirt, and dry grass. Um, certain elements affect those terrains differently and can change it on a dime. If you land in water or fire, like fire would be the red one here that I'm trying to set up. We've got a couple of components that uh, the last demo didn't clean up, so whoops. But uh, if you land in water or fire, you lose one HP. And in this game, we're not playing with health. But in the main game, we've got health. We've got a whole turn for it, pretty much, to try and bring your guys back from, well, almost nothing. Gotcha. Uh, if you land in a hole, that you don't come out of. So uh, yeah. it doesn't matter how much HP you've gotten that. You get stuck in uh, Exactly. You're done. He's done. He's done. Uh, each of your guys is going to have four HP to start with. I'm going to give you guys like little chits here. Um, your cards are so cute. <laughs> I'm just going to stand sure. up so that I can show. My frame? Yep. Well, actually, and you should probably show this one here. There you go. Oh, this one is great! What's your name? Twitch! <laughs> I could put a good price on Lamonte's stash. And uh, if you see, like, there is Lamont who says, don't touch my stash. So oh, that's some of these very guys, cute. Some of them do interact with each other. Uh, it doesn't happen often, but I also put, like, their little backstories or quotes, like, uh, in the back of the rule book. Oh, so your little characters have have personality. Exactly. That's awesome. Exactly yeah. right. But it's in the back of the rule book, so if people actually want to play it, like, they can. But if they want some extra, yeah, you can read that, too. That's awesome. Awesome. Um, but, yeah, that's the terrain in a nutshell. The big ones are the cards that you're going to have. Everybody's going to have five cards at all times. Um, so these cards, a lot of them are red. That means they're attack cards. Okay. Um, these guys come in projectiles or combat. I'm going to show you guys these a little better. What's a projectile? What's a combat? Yep. Um, so combat would be more hand-to-hand, -hand, like a close range. Projectile is something that you throw over a range. So melee or range? Uh, yes. More or less? Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's also special uh, kind of attacks which go on their own set of rules but uh, a lot of times you're gonna see a sort of format to these the scope here means that's the range okay if it says like three that could be one two three uh, if it's one obviously it'd be like one so you can um, uh, you can go directions not diagonal exactly okay, okay. yep um, whoop, there you go um, Josh anyone everything up classic <laughs> if uh, yeah, if anyone is affected in the range by that attack, uh, this here is the movement. So this one, for instance, has one back. So it's knock back. It's Ex on the exactly, it's knock back. So Lamont right. here could go ahead and punch Mr. Decaf for one damage and knock him into the water for a second damage. Right. The object of this game isn't necessarily to just punch somebody and do damage, it's what else can I do to them? Chain reaction. Exactly. Sort of. So if you get multiple people in a line, you could actually have them knock into each other and do additional damage. So okay. Keep that in mind. Um, so if you've got those, you can play, when, when it's time to play a card, you can play one of those cards. Uh, or you can play a blue elemental card. Mm -hmm. Well, these cards will, while well, the red cards will go ahead and attack like maybe one or two characters, blue cards will go ahead and affect the board and the terrain on a larger scale. Oh, interesting. Uh, so, if you see that, uh, if you see that, there's some fire going on. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's up? Stephen, do you want to? I, I yeah. don't mean to interrupt. Did you want to say hello, a quick hello to Twitch? Hello! <laughs> you and Mark. You and Mark. <laughs> Mark, do that too. Yes. Yeah. Damn it. Mark, I can actually go up to the mic and goes, I'm Matt's daddy. <laughs> and then he runs off. Hi, guys. Can I just see Stephen Levy? <laughs> Say hello. What are you playing? Playing poems. Yeah. Poems. That's right. <laughs> All right, we'll let you get guys to it. Thanks for that. Nice All to right. see you guys. Come play with us later, maybe. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah. good. Fantastic. Thanks. Um... Got it. All right. Cool. So, say somebody goes ahead and plays a card, uh, and you're affected. 
you have the, you can go ahead and play a purple react card. Not all of them work against everything. Some will stop you from moving. Some will stop you from like uh, from taking damage. Others will reflect the item right back at them. Okay. You have to take a look because some of these things, like Reflector, for instance, it'll say play if you're affected by a projectile. It'll have the little icon there as well. Okay. okay. So just read the card. It'll tell you what you're uh, what you're looking at. So those are basically interrupts for attacks. Exactly. It'll uh, interrupts. It defends them. Yeah. Um, the last part of this game are uh, abilities here. What these dudes do, and I think, uh, yeah, there we go. A lot of chat is commenting. They say that your art was very, is very South Park reminiscent. Yes. Yeah. I, I've been, I've, I've heard, uh, I've heard that only once or twice. Uh, but I have heard like uh, worms or something along those lines, like worms 3D or so. And I'm like, thanks. <laughs> But yeah, um, yeah, I've heard that once or twice. As the artist for the game, were you inspired in any way by any sort of thing, or is this your own kind of art style? <laughs> um, we don't get many people yeah. who are game developers and do their own mm -hmm. art. Um, so as far as, as inspiration, like uh, it, it really was just a circle. Like I, I had the very original one. It had zero personality. It didn't even have a mouth. And I feel like that's the most uh, expressive part of these guys is the mouth and the eyes. Um, but uh, the guy was just like a circle with barely a helmet and uh, just like half an eyeball, so he's like angry all the time. I'm like, that, that, that's horrible. He's so. Aaron! <laughs> Aaron? That's Aaron over there. My Hi, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want the orange ones. Nobody likes the orange nerds. I like the orange nerds. Merry oh, Christmas. See? Thank you. You're Happy welcome. For Halloween nerds. Halloween. Can I have the blue <laughs> ones? <laughs> No, they are very expressive. You can yeah. tell even here with like Mr. Decaf and Beardy, their eyes are very, <laughs> it's very cute. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Um, so on, uh, we all start out, you said, with five cards, and we can play any number of cards on our turn, or is it just one card on our turn? So you're going to go ahead and play, um, you're going to play, you're going to move your characters into position first. You get to move one, two, three total tiles. Mm -hmm. And that's not each, that's between your two guys. So you can do like one, two, and one, ah, okay. whatever works. And I noticed um, that for the starting yep. position, we're each... Um, in the main game, like, the main game is an eight by eight. Okay. So you would normally have like ten different tiles to move to set your guys up in. And this is six by six. Uh, it is a six by six demo board, okay. so I just set you guys up there um, just to get, get you guys started pretty much. Okay, is there a set starting point for characters in, the, in either game? Yes, so um, in, the, in either game, um, you have to set up your own board. Like, it is a 8x8, eight eight, and there are four, like, starter tiles that measure 4x4, four four pretty much. So, you deal out four of those things, and it creates your new 8x8 eight eight board each time you play. Oh, so your board changes oh. exactly. each time. Exactly. So, there's, like, ten tiles that you can move them into, okay. barring water. You obviously can't set them up in water. Um, but, yeah, the, your setup changes a little bit each time. Because I know it's very subtle, but sometimes when you're playing strategy games, it's a, you Just take into consideration where you're going to start. It really changes everything. Oh, absolutely. Everything. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, um... You, you can't go into this thing with the same strategy each time. Um, so, it looks like I'm missing one of these things, but that's okay. I'll play with that one. Um, oh, got it. Alright, so the last part of this, this silly game is uh, abilities. So, there are four different types that we're going to play with. At the beginning of the game, I'm shuffling these things up and I'm dealing them out randomly to each of your guys. Right. Um, so these are just small little power-ups. Uh, the first one here is the fast foot. So like I said, in movement, you can move one, two, three. Whoever has the fast foot ability can move one additional one. The movement, is yes. it printed somewhere on the cards or is it um, everybody actually, has yes. three? Uh, so phase one, move your, move your team up to three, three tiles. tiles. Okay. But that's just a reference. It gives you just a brief... Uh, description of your of your <coughs> kind of like pandemic. Mode. I I yep. love this when you have. Here are what your steps are because mm -hmm. I get distracted. Yeah. Oh yeah. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um, but yeah. So fast foot allows you to do uh, one extra movement okay. if you've got um, say the boxer. Anytime you play a combat uh, card with the boxer, the damage at the bottom uh, right hand corner is plus one. Okay. Uh, if you have the marksman ability, then any projectile you use with the marksman, the range is plus one. So you could also link those up by uh, by icon there, boxing glove and a grenade. Gotcha. My my favorite one is the heavy hitter. Uh, there are sometimes sixteen characters in an eight on an eight by eight grid, so you can kind of oh, wow. do the math like one character per four tiles. So inevitably, these guys are going to collide with each other. Oh yeah. So if that happens, if decaf were to go ahead and do like bam for whatever reason and collide into Lamont. Both characters would lose one HP. Oh, 
okay. Mr. Decaf would take his tile and Lamont would move one. That could be worthwhile doing if you do something like that and knock him in. But you, you sacrifice him, sacrifice an HP. Exactly, exactly. But if Mr. Decaf here were a heavy hitter, he would still lose one HP, but he would do two damage to Lamont, well, and then he lands in the water. You run into everyone. Exactly. That's your strategy there. Exactly. Now, yeah. Yeah. Now, you can do this in your movement phase, but anybody who collides with somebody cannot play a card in your second phase when, when you're attacking pretty much. Because your colli your collision is essentially your attack. Exactly, for that for that character, yeah. So if Mr. Decaf did that, you'd have to attack with Beardy, for instance. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much the gist of the game. Uh, if there's anything else, I'll go over it as we go. But now yeah. You, that's one attack split between your two characters, exactly. whichever one you want to pick. Another thing is, I see yep. you have the movement first and then the attack. So you exactly. have to move both your characters before mm -hmm. you can attack with one of them. Yep, okay. exactly right. So you have can to you get. Can you choose yep. not to move? Absolutely. So you could choose not to use any of your phases. You could you, you could say, no, I don't want to move. Discard a card and draw one, or you don't have to do either and just skip to the next phase. Uh, you could do that for your attack phase too. So you could discard in the demo version up to two times. In the main version, you get a phase three that we'll play with, which is a health phase, uh, just to bring your characters back to life, pretty much. So I can move my characters, choose not to attack, discard a card, yep. draw a new one. Absolutely. Okay. All right. So you guys ready to give this a shot? Sure. Sure. Sounds good. All right. But yeah, we are on Kickstarter now, and okay. uh, like we're on day five, and we're almost at fifty percent. So we're coming Very up. Good. We're actually doing pretty well. Um, do you have your Kickstarter link? I believe she I do actually. TP, yeah. do you have pon pones? Yep, pones. pones. Yep. Kickstarter link that you'd like to share with chat? Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. And you are on day three. So uh, five, day actually. Five, yep. five. We started on Wednesday. 50% Almost, there. Almost there. Yeah, We're about two games away from that. And so what is your uh, your final goal? Uh, we're aiming for 5,000. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're like uh, with that, we'll be able to print the game and get it shipped, like hopefully by late April or May. How much are you selling the game for? The main game starts at 27. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably going to retail in stores for about 30 or 32, but yeah. Something along those lines. <laughs> do you have different Kickstarter levels? What, what do you Absolutely. have going on with Absolutely. So, like, um, $5, we have a basic print and play. Um, the $27 level is, of course, the game. At $39, uh, we're, we're pretty much giving out a card. Like, I'll be able to just hand draw you a card, sign it if you want, something along those lines. Oh, really? That's really and include it in your game. Yeah. Um, Are you doing a custom does a request? Exactly. Wow. So, this is just for their card, for their game. So, I'm like, yeah, I mean, make it up, make it however you want. Like, I'll That's make it for you. A bunch of blank cards. I also, I also have that in the works, yeah. When I get it printed, uh, the, the full game printed, I've got blank cards coming in, so I'll be able to do requests on that That's as well. That's nice being the artist, you get to offer that, yeah. because there's a couple of games where you can, hey, put me in the game, mm -hmm. and it's more difficult for other people because okay, yeah. now they have to come, they have to communicate with their artist and get that idea done, mm -hmm. but for you, you can be like, I can draw whatever I want. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, I mean, we do have like a uh, stretch goal uh, listed. We've got social media stretch goals where like, hey, if we reach um, like another hundred likes, follows, etc. So what we'll, are you uh, on? Are you on Facebook, Twitch? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, and uh, YouTube actually. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so you got your cards there. I'm also going to hand out abilities. Okay. You get one per character. You're on Twitter? Uh, What's your yes. name and handle on Twitter? That's uh, at AriPones. That's A W R Y P W N S. Arai is the company. <coughs> Arai Games. <laughs> yep. Alright. It's like your life, everything's gone awry. Pretty much. Not a what? Not a wheat. A wheat. We're going to roll to see who goes first, Arai. unless you guys would like to uh, Why? Oops, I don't I'm know. switch that up because we're trying <laughs> to give everyone know. different abilities. Alright. Ooh, okay. Yep. Uh, but yeah, this, the same handle is for uh, Instagram, I think, so. Okay, yeah. I'm going to show you my hand. Because I don't know how to play games, so I need your help. <laughs> alright, alright. So, uh, I, one question. With yes. the range weapons, yes. um, the range has to be in a straight line? Uh, if it has an arrow next to it, then yeah. that, that means it has to be straight line. If it doesn't, then, and it says like three, you can do something like one, two, three, or... Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, any, any movement, any direction, you can go... Within as the area, within the circle, radius. Yeah, as long as it doesn't have an arrow and as long as your character can physically reach that area. 
Uh, I normally we normally roll to see who goes first, but I mean, since it is a demo, does anyone feel confident they want to go ahead? Well, you go first and kind of show us around. Okay, I'll do that. Um, so I'm the so green guy. Yeah, so I'm the green guys there. Um, and uh, yep, ball game is four players max, or uh, yes, mm -hmm. it maxes out at four players. We have a certain player in yes. this game mm -hmm. who can't tell the difference between the colors. Mm -hmm. I can tell. Okay. So he, he's colorblind. I'm, I'm all right. So okay. These are green. These guys have like yellow hats, I think. Yes. And then you're red, and then I'm blue or purple. I don't know which one. Uh, you're gonna be. You're you're actually blue. Okay. Uh, I I am actually uh, fixing that whole thing. Um, each character like these things are not gonna be rectangular in the final version. Uh, to give you an idea, they're gonna be custom cut around the character. It's gonna have their name and blue team on it. So we That's will be able very, to. Uh, not yeah. a lot of people take that into consideration, and mm -hmm. having a constant reminder that there are people who yeah. can't tell colors. Yeah, my, I've I noticed. Just suggested to you, I was to say it off stream was the blue and the purple birds. Yes. Switch those. Um, yeah, I was actually. I'm, I'm actually like on the fence about that. What I did recently was um, I actually uh, changed the top left here so that it actually says attack combat. Yeah, yeah, I was relying that, on color, one. Yeah. but yeah. yeah, each one says like uh, the actual like. But yeah, blue, purple are um, not. Or not good colors, but the yeah. same as green and red, depending on the shades you do. Okay. Um, I can tell the green and red here, okay. Mm -hmm. But some games I can't. It's just okay. like, or playing, like, all right, I can't play as green. No, like, no one can play as green or red because uh, <laughs> there's only one of those colors left. And I think it's like, like something like encounter. thirty percent of men are colorblind mm -hmm. or have some sort of colorblind weakness. Yeah. Which is a weird kind of. It's not something that you think of, especially yeah. when you're designing, designing games and colors, mm -hmm. but. When no. it gets brought up to you, it's just one more yeah, advantage step. Yeah, absolutely. I have been uh, trying to keep that in, into consideration when... Uh, well, yeah, the two colors you don't mix is, is blue and purple, mm -hmm. and then red and green, especially like darker shades of green. Okay. Because that gets into the close air area. All right, Josh, nobody cares about you anymore. We're all done. <laughs> that's still good to know. Put your sunglasses on. <laughs> all right. Um, They're actually here, but... I know, that's the funny thing. He's got colorblind <laughs> correction sunglasses. That works. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do one, two, and I would do one, and since Mr. Decaf is a fast foot, I'm also going to move him another one. Now, if you don't move that character, you say you move <laughs> the other one three spaces, does the fast foot still get to move one Ab space? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, it's just that Beardy, since he doesn't have it, couldn't move all four. Correct. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, so I'm going to go ahead with Beardy. I'm going to use single shot sniper. I don't know why the deck is right there. Uh, single shot sniper on Sarge there. So Beardy not to very Sarge. Nice. It's, it's not a nice game. Not very <laughs> All right. I'm going to pick this up real quick. Yep. If you have a purple card that might that might help you against that. That's a ranged attack? It's a, yeah, it's a projectile attack. It should have like a grenade on it. Okay, so then I can play reflector for this. Yeah, play you could. if one of your opponents is attacked by a projectile. You may reflect the item back in the direction it was thrown in the exact distance it was thrown as if your pwn, car, pwn used the card himself. Yep, that would absolutely Where do work. I discard? It just uh, we've got the discard pile right here. Okay, so it's all going to yep. be discarded together. Yeah. So then you take the hit that you shot at me. Uh, yeah, I do. So oh. I lost two HP there. How about that? Yep. So I would draw a card, and then you would draw a card as well at the end of my turn. At the end of now? Yep, right okay. now. At the end of each because player's turn. Be yes. So at the end of each player's turn, you're going to draw up to five cards. Make sure you have a five card hand. Exactly right. Okay. It's mm -hmm. your turn. Oh, it is my turn. I don't know why I thought it was yours. Oh, because you kind of went. I kind of went. Kind of went. Kind of went. Okay, so I have a plus one for my ranged attack on Sarge and plus one for happy on melee. Mm -hmm. But that's not the term that you use for the game. Combat. Combat. I'm trying to use the yeah. appropriate term. I'm trying to be good. Um, Beardy is down to two hit points. Mm -hmm. And Sarge is right in front of them. So if I play... Oh, okay, so I have Piercing Key piercing Shooter, mm -hmm. and I have a question about the card. Sure. There is no number mm -hmm. for the range. Yep, so the range, if it has just a... Um, and I, I went through the quicker like uh, explanation, of course. Um, we elaborate that uh, if it's just a straight line, that is one full straight line of the Across board. Across the entire board? Yes. Awesome. There's not a lot of uh, attacks that'll do that, but... So it affects. Does it stop when it hits somebody, or does it continue through it, that whole line? It's a it's a good question. It depends on the card. One of them okay. says like um, like for instance. This um, one says all players in the range. Yep, and this one. So that, that one would go 
all the way Yeah, and this one I use says affects the first player in a line. Okay, oh. so, so yeah. that you can stop that. Right? Okay. Exactly right, exactly right. So I'm going to play my piercing pea shooter because I have two people lined up in my line of sight. Awesome. All right, so you're trying to attack Beardy and Lamont there, I yes. see. Um, so do you have anything that you'd want to use to avoid the pea shooter? Dynamic dodge. All right, cool. That works. So Beardy would take one. I can't yeah, do anything about out. that. Uh, first shield draw a card, and then you will, and then, yeah. And then it moves on to match. Now you said that when you run into someone with this ability, you can't play an attack with that. Uh, that that uh, problem could not use an attack. Okay. Hmm. But you can only play one attack a turn. So. Yes. Uh, normally you'd have the option, like, okay. hey, I'm going to have Beethoven, or hey, I'm going to have Fussy do this. Um, it limits your option if you collide with somebody. But if he collides, he can necessarily he can pretty much do two attacks in one round. Um, I mean, technically, technically, but for instance, if Beardy goes out and I have Mr. Decaf, if I collide with somebody, I can't do anything for my attack phase since I don't have another character that can use a card. So you're stunned because you ran it. Exactly. You've got your concussed or something like that. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to move Beethoven down here. Okay. Go away. And then I'm going to move Fussy. I think Fussy is very appropriate for you. It is. Over here. Mm hmm. And I'm gonna play Scary Mask with Beethoven, <coughs> and that means you, Happy's gonna run away in a straight line until they hit a hazard. So you're gonna run into the water. I put on a Scary Mask. How about it? Does he have any rack card? What kind of attack was that? It is a combat attack, actually. There's uh, two versions versions of that one. One is a so projectile, I, actually. So oh, really? you could even reflect the projectile and make them run away. Yeah. I have the block card. So that would only help if it was actually going to do damage to you. But um, I'm falling into the water, so don't I take a hit point for the hazard? You would. So you would be able to block against the against the water if you want, and then just swim right out. So that would help you against that damage. So I would, fall, I would go into the water. Yes. I would play my block card to avoid the damage. Yes. And then I would swim out of the water. Exactly. How do I do that? Do I get to choose? Any yeah, you choose. Spot? You choose an available adjacent tile. So either there or there. Now, what if there was no available tile? <laughs> if there was no available tile, the guy cannot get out, and technically he's KO'd. He drowns pretty Ooh. much. Oh, it doesn't happen know. often, but yeah. But you, you know what to do in that scenario. <laughs> exactly. So in the main game, mm -hmm. can you have multiple water tiles next to each other? Next to each other, um, I'm, I'm working on it, so like there's there's hardly a chance of that happening. But I'm not going to say it's um, it's okay. impossible. Okay, and Josh, it's your turn now. Okay. So I can only do one attack. Yep. Okay. Now you said there are no health cards in this. In this demo, right? in this demo yeah, this so is the short version. I've got a question for you then, because yes. I have this attack card that affects people. Okay. Sorry about that. No, no problem. Mm -hmm. I thought I'd, I took all those out of the demo deck. You're supposed to put your ability tokens in the correct spot. My OCD says so. Is it your turn? Yeah, I'm just, on one just give up. Give up now. Save yourself the embarrassment. That's an option. <laughs> These are house rules. I was house rules. House rules. Okay. Okay. What is it? He has to run away with a straight line. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's like scary face, but rain. It exactly yeah. is. So that is the projectile. Today. So you could technically like reflect someone's bad breath at them and like have them fill out. So I just like that option. Pull out a fan and just be like, there you go. back in your face. All right, so I'm actually going to use a plunger, which stops me from moving. <laughs> All right. Suction cup oh, yourself to the, the ground. Exactly right. You shall not pass. All right, and then I draw a card. Okay. Oh, I um. Yep. Oh, oh you have four cards. Yeah, go ahead. Oh. Cheater. All right. Uh, he's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move one. House rule number one is blank. Knock her in the water. Knock her in the water. Oh, I can. He's got one health left. <laughs> what do you? What do you? Uh, two. You're going down. Three, and I'm gonna move four since he's got the ability. 
I'm going to use um, Flamethrower um, from Mr. Decaf to Fussy. Oh, fussy. Do you have something that will stop a projectile? Um, I do not. All right, so Fussy's going to lose 2 HP, and the board's on fire. Oh, <gasps> so now what happens? Uh, so now anybody that enters fire loses 1 HP, and if uh, oh, Matt doesn't... You just block the two of us over here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if uh, Matt does not move Fussy out by the end of his turn, then he loses an additional HP. Also, at the end of my next turn, the fire goes out here, but it spreads to any yellow dry grass tiles. Oh. And the process continues. Um, so the fire goes out on the green tiles or all the tiles that are currently All the tiles fire? currently on fire go out after a full round, and then it spreads to any adjacent dry, dry okay. grass tiles. Does it stay on the dry grass, or does it stay there for one turn? It stays on for one turn. One turn. So the cycle continues until it has nowhere else to spread to. Okay. Yep. Okay. And the fire does one damage to stay in the water. Uh, yeah, exactly. The only difference is um, in the water you have to immediately get out, and fire like Fuzzy still stays there until someone moves in. TP! Amy's talking to you. Too bad. <laughs> Alright. Too bad we're having a conversation! Uh, so that's gonna be my turn. So, it's your turn now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I really should have actually... Could I willingly move into fire? Absolutely. You could also willingly move into water. So if I willingly move into the fire, say I wanted to move from here to there, just out of you, curiosity. You lose one HP for each, for each one. one. Okay. Yes. So that's something to keep in mind. And then dies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I want to play Giant Hungry Earthworm. Okay. I can. It's a range attack. I can play it on any dirt. On no, any dirt. No, I'm okay with my movement. My, my, my guys stay in there for it. Okay. Um, I can play it on any any dirt tile. If I choose a dirt tile that's occupied, my opponent has to have either one or two hit points. Mm -hmm. In this case, the two, three dirt the three dirt tiles that are occupied, those people do not have one or two hit points. So I'm going to play it on this unoccupied dirt tile in front of Beethoven so that okay. <laughs> he can stay over there. If he goes into this hole, I got KO. he dies. KO. KO. You die. <laughs> no, I'm just in the hole. Horrible. Can I come painful. out now? Painful. <laughs> I want less so you can get out. No, we're not. <laughs> All right, so. Um, That's the end of your turn, Anne. Uh, did you draw a card? Yes, I drew a card. Awesome. I drew draw a card. I, I draw a card. I stopped myself. Draw is the right vocabulary. Okay, so. If I'm moving yep. to here, yes. I immediately get KO'd and can't play a card. Uh, Fussy would lose one damage and one damage, so yeah, pretty much. Okay. Uh, Amy hires one of our regular viewers. Mm -hmm. She says, from what I hear about the game, uh, I'm thinking this has a lot in common with Shadowrun. Are you familiar with that game? I'm not, actually. Okay, that makes two of us. <laughs> Are you? Shadowrun's an RPG, so I'm not sure. I've never played it, so I don't know. <laughs> Amy, can you give me a little bit more details, a little bit more where you see those comparisons, where you see those similarities? Bag of apples sounds delicious right now. <laughs> Just like a bag of apples is always a good idea. Ah, I would love a bag of apples right now. So I'm going to move... Somewhere, because we're all waiting for you. Here, and I'm going to play... Don't. Just remember, real quick, that at the end of my turn, this fire is going to spread to and that you're going to get another hit point. At the end of your turn. This game is called turn, yep. Pones. It's currently on Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. And TP might put the link back up if she ever... TP, could you add the link again to the Kickstarter? What? Could you add the stop, link again? Stop stuffing your face. Wow, that was mean. What that one is sweet tart? Okay, so I'm actually going to move one, two, three. There's take a lot the of... one damage and then put marked on fussy. Oh, wow. So... What is marked? 
when he dies, he turns into a black into a, a hole, and surrounding pawns are sucked into it. You're an awful person. She's saying there's a lot of what ifs and position involved in air, in area effects. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so then I draw up. There is, I, I would agree with that. There are a lot of uh, conditional effects that you should you you always need to be aware of uh, of not only your surroundings but your surroundings like what could be your surroundings next turn. For instance, like the fire spreading to the next tile. It's very very it chessy in tile. that you have to think a couple of <laughs> steps ahead of your opponent. Absolutely. It spreads to adjacent tiles or every connected tile or adjacent tiles that are yes. dry grass. Yep. Okay. So your this tile is the only option in this scenario. So say this one happened to be a dry grass as well, would it spread to both? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So like there are cards like um, like one of them is uh, is drought, um, which would <coughs> affect like a quadrant of the board. In the main game, it's like a mega tile since that's what you set up at the beginning. But uh, in this game, we're going to play quadrants. So like elemental effects might affect a quadrant and change like all grass to dry grass tiles and have it continue. Change the whole board or just it would change one. One quarter of the board. One quarter of the board. Okay. <laughs> okay so, so Josh, it's your and when do you play those elemental cards? Uh, you play them instead of a red attack card. Oh, okay, so it's yep. instead of attack. Exactly right. All right. So I'm gonna take Twitch. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go one, two. See that? I wish I had the plunger for it, but hey, that's cool. So Mr. Decaf loses two. But I'm going to move out there, since that's the only place I can. And then I'm going to play Drought and put all those. You did exactly th- that thing. Okay. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> I had it in my head. I was asking the question. Yeah, that works. That works. Okay. So all of these guys are going to, well, this whole area is going to be dry grass now. And that fire is going to keep on spreading. And then it too. says, pick any dry grass tile and roll die. It lights on fire. It lights on fire if I do. Which so, uh, I'm gonna do Sarge because this is gonna get lit. Do it okay. To fussy. Do it to fussy. You're such a dick. Shut up. No, because then it'll. Kill I know. I understand out. why. It's a twofer. It's no, three. So it does it not. It All right. So that'd be the end of your turn. Go ahead and draw a card there. Josh. So. Okay, first. Yeah. I was reading what uh, Amy was asking. Sure. Just a question. How many games would you say? That we've reviewed at the reviewed. convention. Yeah. I think that's our fourth? I was going to say five or six, but that's just off the top of my head. I don't remember exactly. Ooh. Seven and seven. Uh, uh, um, the one you Super got. Super big. Hello. Hi! How are you? Hi, man. Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. <laughs> um, let's see how the game is. You want to sit with us? Think of it oh. You want to sit with us? Can you take a peek? Okay. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get out of there. Oh, why? Uh, I think you know why. Um, you should bump her next to me so that way she gets into a hole. Oh, uh, she's going to be in the hole at the end of my turn because, what? like, I'm not moving. So, or, I mean, I'm not going to attack those two, so the fire's going to spread anyway, but do the damage. But it's adjacent, so that's technically not adjacent. Well, this here actually affects surrounding characters. Oh, surrounding, not yeah. just adjacent. Okay. Yep, so, so it's the entire donut around. All eight tiles around oh, okay. the tile well, is surrounding. Yeah. stronger than I thought it was. Yep. Uh, so I moved him away. I'm also going to do... Uh, one, two, three. I'm going to use Scary Mask and have Lamont run into the water. I'm going to dodge. I'm going to dodge. All right. That's fair. Uh, go ahead. Um, so at the end of my turn, this turns to fire pretty much. These two are gone and turn to dirt pretty much. And since that turned to fire and affected Fussy, Fussy loses one HP. Fussy is knocked out. Which means he's knocked out, which means that uh, he turns into a hole and sucks in any surrounding poems, like Happy. Like Happy. <laughs> Unless you have something like a dodge or a plunger. Block won't cut it in this case. I have a save for, I have a save for later. Play if one of your poems is attacked by a projectile. That's not a projectile, unfortunately. Nope. But so Happy... It it yeah, it did turn Such that. Pretty much. So that would be that. You're a horrible person, yeah, and me? I'm happy that you're dead. I took you with me. <laughs> I know. True story. <laughs> uh, giant. No, it was well, a, a. He turned himself a into fire. a black hole. 
<laughs> oh, oh, a fire happened, destroyed all the dry grass there, what and then happened I turned was? myself into a black hole and sucked Anne's character in. Yeah. Yep. Because if Matt was going down... <laughs> Someone else had to go down with me. Yeah. So it is your turn now, Anne. Okay, it is my turn. The nice thing is you only have to worry about one character now. <laughs> it's a little so easier for easy. you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I want to surround your character with this. That's what I want to do. <laughs> they're not a. Uh, they're not. Skill Beardy. He has one health. Beardy does have one health left. You can just run into him. I think actually that I am going to do that. So I'm going to play single shot sniper. Mm -hmm. Affects the first player in a line. So that would be Beardy. Unless you have anything to dodge a projectile attack. So, Look at me learning. So because you directly knocked out Beardy, since I can't do anything, that character also takes his ability. Ooh. Oh. Yep. So that's how you get a second ability. Uh, I was going to like make something work for that, but I didn't directly kill you. Uh, and you would have normally taken her ability, but you didn't have anybody to take it with. Right. Your that's guy was out. Okay, that's funny. Yeah. So that's how you get a second ability. If you okay. happen to get a third, you pick your favorite two and discard the other one. So now I have four cards and I'm doubles. going that to draw. Uh, that's a stack? good question. They do not stack. Tried it. Horrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> so linebacker that does three damage every time yeah. hit. <laughs> no. <laughs> Granted, if, so if Beardy is dead. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah. Yes, that's right. He's out. Josh needs. Taken out, I think. Yes. No, good. Yep. Remember, Josh. All you got to do is eliminate one player, uh, and the game is at, game is over. The person with the strongest team, which is obviously you at this point, will oh. win. Oh. Okay, so we just need now to Josh really needs to go down. Yep, that's fine. Okay. So I'm going to play. I'm not going to move. This game has now become everybody kill Josh. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so that always does. I'm not going to move. I'm going to discard this card and pick up a new one. So who okay. would be strongest player then? If who has the most health? Uh, so yeah, uh, you get three points. At, it's a point system at the end of the game. It's three okay. points for each character you have remaining, and one point for each health point you have. And I'm gonna play faulty satellite on. I'm gonna Mons. do it, Charles Fox. I'm gonna and, beat the boys. Uh, it's a two damage. A satellite from my least favorite service provider falls from the sky, and it turns the tile into fire. <laughs> So That's it's great. basically a two damage attack. It's a two damage attack. But then it turns to fire. So. Uh, it, like fire would only affect you like if you, if you enter it. Yeah. Or if you don't move out of it on your turn. So I get two damage. Unless you can like dodge it. Or not. All right. So that's going to light on fire there. You said Lamont? Yeah. Okay. So that's going to light on fire. Lamont loses two. You already did that. Uh, and that's the end of the turn. Go ahead and draw. Okay. And it's going to be your turn. So range. Yep. I have something really this funny. I can for the range. Yeah. What's that? Yes, it does. Yeah. yeah. Range no. is plus one on projectiles. And you have two. Wait, can I do less of that? Or? Of course. Yeah. It's up two. Up two. Yep. He does. He's trying hard. He's got to do it. I can Let's see. Smell it. So I move here. Mm -hmm. Amy Heyer called the. Just remember uh, that, that that is going to spread to. Above. Oh, if I kill you, the game's over, though, right? It is. So so I'm going to go for the win here. I'm going to do Mighty Mortar <gasps> for two damage. And I'm going to block it. Yes. Yeah. So I would yeah. normally move backward one, but this is technically like a wall. So I'm going to protect you for up to two damage, including any effects. So that's not. So your turn's done now? Yep. Yes, oh, that's the work. I can't pass that. No, you can't. Your turn is done. That's the whole point of having <laughs> a done right. turn. So it'd be my turn now. Then when does that fire come on? What's up? When does the fire spread? It spreads at the end of his turn. In the main game, like there are sometimes like three or four like different fires. So yeah, tracking it would be hard. But we do have like action counters in the main game that allow you to track it a lot easier. So there's that. Um, all right, so I'm actually going to skip uh, skip my movement phase. I'm I'm good there, and I'm gonna go ahead. Lamont has two. All right, well I'm gonna go ahead and use polytosis. 
That's the last card that's going to make you move. There's only two of each max. Okay. So Holotosis is going to make Lamont go in a straight line into Sarge, colliding with him. <laughs> What's cool about that is like uh, you'd ha you would get the option to move here or here, but you oh. can't into move the water there. and die. Yeah, one of them. <laughs> that's cool. And he would still be alive. With one. He would lose one health. Yes. Sure. What do you mean, sure? All right. No. Which in do you, does he land here? He actually collides with your so character. So he's in your space and you get knocked to either of the other two. You get to pick, though. The closer water hazard? And do I incur two hit point losses yes. now? Yes. So you lose one for the collision and one for landing in Can water. I pl play plunger for this? Um, yeah, actually. And then where would he go if I played he plunger? He would stop right in front of you. And how many hit points would I take? take you would only lose one because you're only getting hit by the collision. If you play plunger, it also says, like, um... The uh, like the player who would be taking your tile, if he is, he would he would like move to an adjacent tile of your choice. The only one you'd want to move is right there. So that would be that. Uh, both you took one, and that was it. So okay. I'll draw a card. You'll draw a card. So far, yeah. This is only a 42 card deck. We'll reshuffle or so if we need to. But uh, the main deck has about 72 and 76 cards. Oh, nice. Uh, we're adding a new card voted on, uh, voted on by uh, social media for each hundred oh, wow. likes, really cool. follows, etc. So voting's going on now, ending Monday. So. And how many unique cards are there in this? Unique, um, I'd say closer to 50, 55 oh, or so. That's a very good um, there. There's there's only a few like uh, duplicates. Like you saw two scary masks, holotosis. Yeah, uh, there's only there's only one that has more than that, and it's a small aid kit, which is four. So okay. it's just a small thing to heal a guy. So I want to play Power Punch on Lamont. Okay. So I just punch Lamont, mm -hmm. and he loses his one health point yep. and dies. Well, so can she get in a three fiery burning? There? Uh, no, she, she would. Choose. She would pick her favorite two out of the three, yeah, so they don't stack. and they don't stack. So yes. I wouldn't take his range. Exactly right. Okay. Which one? I'm already you just plunged Josh yeah, in the sorry. face. I done did plunge Josh in the face. And so <laughs> you, you drew your card. No, I did okay. not. You anxious? A little bit. <laughs> Bad. All right, so Matt's winning right now. These cards are yep. very cute. The art on them is very adorable. So, uh, like, I, I have two boys, and I would definitely play yeah, this well, game with them. So they would have a really good time. Going Thank you. To discard so, what's the point system? One for each this one. And, uh, and three for each character you have left. Um, while in a demo, that doesn't sound like yeah. a huge amount. So, if you have yeah. extra abilities, you don't get extra points. It does, no. Okay. And I'm going to play Grapple and Pull. So I target the first pwn in range and pull them three spaces towards me oh, into man. a pit. Can you can you stop that at all? <laughs> this is why we don't play a map. This is why we don't play a map. Douche face. Can you stop it at all? Yes! Yes, yeah? I can! Oh, Save for later. Play if one of your opponents is attacked oh. by a projectile. Instead of the attack affecting anyone, take the card and put it in your That was actually a really good move, though. I mean, we would have brought her in the hole Damn. and that'd be the end of the game. But. Damn. Thanks for being a dick. <laughs> So at the end of your turn, fire still moves. It's kind of in the way of me. <laughs> All right. Um, so Matt just went to Josh. Uh, it'll be your turn. Oh crap. Remember that Matt's winning. Yeah, but she has the card that's going to pull me into a hole now. That's true. So the issue is if I take you out, Matt would win. Matt will still win. Yep. And I can't think I could take you out. <laughs> so I need to try to take out Matt or take his off. No, you don't. You want to take out Anne. You would still win. It's yeah, the same situation. That's fine. No, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm perfectly okay with that. I've just been hiding in my corner this entire time. <laughs> Or they could just do Three. Yeah, the full version has a lot of other things in there. Like in it, there are cards that'll actually freeze, constrict, or even poison characters. Oh, very cool. Which you need like health cards that'll help you get out of most damage. Sure. So it's a mad world. We just all live in it. <laughs> this we tie on. This time I would. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be much longer. Okay, I just wanted to see if maybe the room is easier to have that guy. 
Yeah. Hey guys. Have you seen the room yet? Yeah, I've been in the, the okay. panel room. Yeah. So you can do a little setup where everything is. Yeah, you guys have the cameras in the middle and stuff. We're going to move all that. Okay. So you can put it all right, is there power in the middle? We've got a bunch of extensions. Oh, yeah, but yeah, all right, that's fine. Okay. So we'll just move all that and then we'll take Yeah, we'll be good. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. All right, so I'm going to do this. <laughs> roll six, you lose three health. That was worth a shot. Worth a shot. <laughs> One health. So we're tied. Oh, I switched it. That's my <laughs> I like being creative. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and draw a card. It'll be my turn. Let's see, if you kill me, then you tie with me. And I can discard a card? And I think. Um, in so in I instead of, uh, instead, of, instead of an attack or uh, moving. Okay, so last turn I could have done it because I didn't move. But. Yep. All right. My fault. Yeah. yeah. Totally your fault, totally Josh. Totally your fault. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna do... that throw fire on you? I still would've done one damage and there would've been everything on fire. Alright, so I'll do... One, two, three. Kill Matt. No. I can't kill Matt. No, I'm talking to Anne. Oh, okay. Alright, so she's focusing on him. So the two of us would tie. I well, think the really. wait. Yeah. I think the better thing would be to damage her because then she wouldn't have an incentive to kill me and go for the win then. Stop <laughs> talking with your mouth full. Nobody <laughs> wants to listen to the noise. Make Matt lose. Oh. Damn it! All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and use Thunder Punch against Twitch here. Didn't see that coming. Thunder Punch. And it's a melee attack. Yep. Ooh, so I will be you're... taking your tile. You'll move there. You I lose do. one HP. And do you take damage from I that? I don't actually. This is actually a different kind of attack that doesn't do. Uh, that isn't a collision. Uh, it would normally specify if it was. But yeah. So now Anne wins. So now I play grapple and pull against Beethoven, and I drop him in a hole. But wait, I don't have anything to play. All right. <laughs> And that's the game since <laughs> I got nervous. Since <laughs> Anne has one more health than the other two than either of us, she wins. I would just like to take a minute to really relish that. <laughs> I'm so gloating today. <laughs> not sauerkraut. No. Keep mad at nuts last night and not beat him in games. <laughs> I did. Yeah, so that was Pwns, a game of strategic making. Mm -hmm. This was a lot of fun. I really do yeah. like this. It does yes. have, I believe someone said on the panel yesterday, it had like a Worms Armageddon type mm -hmm. feel to it. Yeah, that was, a, like, that was Lance Mixter uh, from Undead Viking. He, he owns a copy of it, actually. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I can see why. I mean, this game was this game was actually a lot of fun. Not only just because I won, but even if I had lost, <laughs> um, I would I would totally play this again. Awesome. And I like the fact that the board changes because then your strategy is changing. Because mm -hmm. we play obviously we play a lot of games yeah. together, so we kind of know each other's strategy. But mm -hmm. when you set up a board and you have different obstacles. Mm -hmm. It kind of changes it, the game. It screws with everyone, so it forces yeah. them to play a little different. Absolutely. I do like that about this. Do happy victory dance. Context, I don't know. What did She won. I like the first one. Oh, yay! Sprinkler. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, so thank you for stopping by and showing yeah, off the game. Thank and you guys. Uh, I'd love to play the full version sometime. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys so much. It was thank great. You, Ryan. It was this great, great to meet you. Thank, thank you for you. having me. And, uh, TP, if you want to put the Kickstarter link up one more time for him. Absolutely. Awesome. So, how much longer do we have on the Kickstarter? Uh, we just started on Wednesday, so October 14th is the last day. Okay. Um, so almost a Sunday. Yeah, exactly. So, only five days in, 25 Three to weeks. go. And we're almost halfway there. That's so. really awesome, and and deservedly so. You Thank did a you. really great job yeah, on this project. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thank and you. Best of luck to you on your Kickstarter. All right. Thank you. <laughs>